Hello guys, I'm Dazzle and there's my husband hey. Gino. Welcome to Dazzle TV. And there's our two dogs, the fur babies. The fur babies. <laughs> and we're going for a joy ride inside the subdivision. Inside the subdivision. It's our uh, last walk with the dogs uh, this <laughs> afternoon. Uh, tomorrow morning, uh, we're headed uh, back to Iloilo City. Yes. Uh, I have my appointment for a radiation treatment starting on Wednesday. Wednesday. So Tuesday, I'm going to have to uh, get labs again. Mm -hmm. And Wednesday, the start, I, I get uh, 33 treatments. So we're going to be gone for a while. You know, this will be our last walk with them for at least till the end of June. Uh, will will my first slot appointment is uh, May the 10th and I'm expecting to be done like on the 23rd of June if uh, all goes well you know so we'll see we'll see <laughs> we're gonna miss the two dogs oh, of course you know we always <laughs> miss them that's why uh, that's why we even come back you know we, yes. we had uh, we only had like uh, 10 days uh, here in our <laughs> in uh, Camellia Aklan, in our subdivision, but it's w well worth it, you know. We've had uh, a lot of fun uh, during the 10 days. Went to the beach. Went to the beach. A couple of times we went to Nabita's beach and attended a party. Uh, you saw that we uh, fired some rockets on the beach. Yes. Shout out to Mark and Lida and Mommy Florencia right, yeah, and yeah. Brown Mark. <laughs> and Brown Mark, yeah, that's right, Brown Mark. Brown Mark and White Mark. <laughs> and here's Hi, the doggoos. The doggoos. <laughs> hey, Chloe. Hey, Chloe. Hi, baby. <laughs> Come to Mama. Come here, Chloe. Oh. You're, you got Chloe? Yes, got, got Chloe. Coco. It's like what, babe? 5 p.m.? Yeah, it's like 5 p.m. 5 p.m. At least the sun's gone, so it's not gonna be. <laughs> it's not too hot. <laughs> and Gina's oh, wanted, looking uh, good. <laughs> oh, yeah, I wanted to do a shout out to uh, Tony and, and Christina. Tintin. Uh, again, man. Shout uh, out! You guys, uh, thank you very much. Uh, both. Uh, Tony and Christina, they've been helping us since uh, I went through the treatment, you I know? know, and before that, you know, they've yeah. been Christine and Tony, they've been like so generous to Dazzle and I. Mm -mm. We're just like uh, overwhelmed sometimes of their kindness. Yes. <laughs> so kind. I know, I know, right? <laughs> and, then all, and the rest of the people that's always been like messaging us, yes. you know, wishing us uh, you know, good health and all that, prayers and you know, really yeah. appreciate everyone. You know, Shout like out to my big brother Gray, yeah. <laughs> to big brother Robbie, Robbie and yeah. to Horace and Marie. <laughs> we have so many uh, good friends yes. that we met through our YouTube channel. It's uh, overwhelming sometimes. Mm -mm. Hey Chloe and Tito Rabi even met Chloe and Tuto. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he really hey made Chloe. sure he met them. Yeah. You know, it's like a, he said I wanted to go to your house so I can meet them. <laughs> and Tuto, did she behave? Oh yeah. Was yeah. she behave? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Dazzle and I, we got to uh, go to uh, Nabita's Beach uh, with the fireworks with our new friends from California. And then we also went to uh, Hawili Beach in Tangalan, you know, for uh, a picnic. We had a barbecue and picnic on the beach. So that was a lot of fun. It was just uh, nice to feel uh, normal, <laughs> you know, because that's been our routine here, you know, before I had gotten sick, you know, it's like, uh, Dazzle and I always go to the beach. We always, uh, that's that's kind of like our routine. You know, it's like uh, Navitas Beach is like uh, 10, 15 minutes from Camellia here. So it's not very far. So we're, we've often, we've gone there at sunrise and we've also gone there for sunset. You know, one of the things that we really enjoy doing. So it's been nice, you know, it's like, uh, but have to go back now to Iloilo City again for more treatments. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's, it's all right, babe. You know, it's like we'll uh, we'll get done with 
And after these treatments, these uh, 33 uh, radiation treatments, and with chemo, with weekly, yeah. it's like a weekly chemo and uh, five times uh, a week of radiation. So this will be grueling. This will probably be uh, the most grueling part of uh, my treatment. But uh, I'm ready for it. You know, I've rested, you know, yeah. the last 10 days, even though we've gone to the beach a couple of days. Most of the time, we're just at the house resting. At least I think we're in the fourth quarter. Okay. Yeah, yeah. It's like uh, the good thing is uh, my like oncologist ending. had told me after uh, after this this cycle of treatments, I'll be done like end of June. I won't get any treatments until uh, uh, November. Yeah, November. It's like uh, they're gonna do a PET scan in November to find out where I stand you know I guess because uh, with radiation and chemo even after you're done with the treatments like I'll be done end of June it'll still be in my system it'll be still working July August it uh, takes time to get out of my system so we'll see we'll see how it goes I'm actually uh, I wanted to, to get it over with you know this this uh, cycle of treatments because I'm looking forward to uh, the four months of break you know it's gonna be nice you know it's like it seems like since January all I've seen is like hospitals and it, we're already in, in uh, May here so you know it'll be nice to for four months to uh, not see a hospital for a change and the past two nights here at uh, Camellia Aklan uh, we've gotten rain actually last night it was like a downpour last night you know I woke up this morning and uh, everything was uh, wet from the rain the car was wet from the rain so it was nice because uh it was a lot cooler finally because it was so it's been so hot you know it's like the temperature temperatures here have been like in the hundreds almost every day and i am so glad the power is normal now. yeah yeah the power you know we hadn't had a we, we still had a couple of power outages but they they didn't last long you know it lasted maybe 30 like, minutes like 45 minutes yeah 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 it's it's bearable when it's only like 30 yeah. 30 minutes of 45 when, minutes i went off like 2 30 in the morning yeah and got back at 7 p.m i know i know it's like uh we should have gotten to the beach that time yeah yeah but you know we didn't know we didn't know that it was going to last that long <laughs> yeah we didn't Earlier, think yeah yeah, yeah. And even when we were at Navitas Beach that afternoon, it was warm that afternoon, oh, babe. Yeah, yeah. yeah, it wasn't... Unlike the last time... The last time we went, when we were at Hawili, that was really nice because it was breezy, uh, there was cloud cover, so it, it wasn't uh, really sunny. That was nice, that was nice. Go ahead, babe. Tell your joke. How would you know uh, the cottage next to you uh, it's rich. It's rich. Yes. Uh, that's all I asked for this because <laughs> we were at uh, Hawili. Yes. We were at ha Hawili Beach and there's several cottages there. And when, when when people go to the beach here, they'll rent a cottage. Yes. And they'll, you know, there's always somebody beside you. And that's what that's what I asked me. How would you know if uh, the cottage beside you are rich people? Yes. And here you go. What's the answer, Dazzle? Yeah. If the mom said to the child, mm -hmm. stay here, don't go there, <laughs> it's hot there. <laughs> and plus, when they're not re renting a jeepney, when they have their own car. Yeah, when they have their own car. <laughs> and plus, if, oh, more, more. And plus, if they, uh, what do you call this, babe, where you put your rice? Yeah, yeah, your your rice, the, the your cooked rice. Yes. If you put it in a... Uh, stainless or something yeah like like a, a tupperware, tupperware. They, yeah yeah they're rich yeah they're rich because a lot including us we put it in an ice cream <laughs> container <laughs> yeah like the the empty ice cream container yes, yeah i think that's a sign that's a sign there. that they're rich <laughs> and if they have their own uh ice coolers yeah, yeah. Ice cubes. Ice cubes. And the ones you can buy in the Sari Sari store. The ones in the plastic. Yeah, plastic. Yeah, the ones. <laughs> I'm so proud. <laughs> Stay here. Don't go there. <laughs> because they speak English. They, because they speak English. Yeah. Mo most Filipinos, you know, the 
the not so rich ones won't be speaking in English. But yeah. if they speak English to Filipino kids, that ah, means yeah. they're rich. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and when the kids have yayas. <laughs> oh yeah, that that too. If they have if the kids got nannies, nannies you know, it's like yeah. and a lot of times the kids here in the Philippines they'll have a nanny. Each kid will have a nanny. Yeah. Yeah, it's not even like one nanny for two or three kids. It's always like the the expats here mostly uh -huh. got nannies for each kid. So if, if they have three kids, they got three nannies. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's so funny. When they have their own car and they don't rent a jeepney. Yeah, yeah, the jeepney. Yeah, yeah. Because she over here, that's what Filipinos do. They'll they'll rent a long jeepney yeah. and pack all the people in there. I have experienced that. Before. Oh, me too. Me we too. Went I've been to a cold spring. Yeah, yeah. And then you bring all the all the the food in yes. like big pots and pans yep. yeah covered they're already cooked you know yes. they're already cooked you don't put them in like a big tupperware you just keep I, it in a i went with my mom's co-workers i think uh. they had a reunion reunion or something or mm -hmm. a yeah yeah <laughs> yeah and that's how they roll that's how yeah. they roll just uh they'll put all the food like right in the middle uh -huh. of, you know where they where and they're sitting food. including food right. Chloe, stay here. Stay here. <laughs> Totoy, don't go there, Totoy. <laughs> oh, he, she wants to like uh, release. She wants to release. Yeah, she wants to go in there. Here, I'll release you, Totoy. Yeah, you should go there, Totoy. <laughs> release the Totoy. I got the poopy bag. Yeah. Chloe's ready to go home. I know, I know. She's yes, always she's like, quick. yeah, she's quick. Yeah, she's, she's quick. quick. Toto is always the, wants to smell everything, but that's okay. <laughs> we'll let her, we'll let her take her time. Oh, Toto, we're gonna miss you, Toto. Yeah, we're gonna be gone for at least six weeks. So I bought them uh, 20 kilos. kilos of dog food. <laughs> that should last them six weeks. <laughs> <laughs> and how much did I pay? The 20 kilos was like uh, 2,300 uh, or 2,400. So uh, close to $50 for uh, 20 kilos. So that's about 40 to 45 pounds of dog food. And Ate Mai Mai, she's gonna be the one uh, watching our dogs while we're gone in her house. She, she stays in our house, watches the, our house and uh, watches our dogs while we're in Iloilo City. I just noticed how amazing the clouds are. Uh, this is almost sunset. It's like uh, 5.20 in the afternoon. It might rain again uh, this evening. Toy, let's go toy. They're ready, toy. Come here. Oh, there's Chloe. Uh, she wants to uh, ride the front. Of course. Daddy. Of course, she wants to ride the of front. Of course. Oh, oh. say hi. Say hi. <laughs> <laughs> hi! Hey, Say baby. hi, Tito Rabi! Hi! Oh, Aww, Tito Horace! Tito Marie! Tito Marie! <laughs> She's so cutified! Yeah, Ro Robbie loved both of them! Yes! <laughs> I can tell he's a dog lover! <laughs> Thank you for watching! We'll see you in our next video!